What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Chris. I'm a father and I'm a filmmaker. And this channel is dedicated to both of those things. Seems that most of the time, as a father, you always inevitably end up having to assemble something. Whether that's a toy or some kind of game, you're always left with instructions and wondering how this thing is ever going to come together. Usually there's lots of sweat involved, uh, maybe a couple dirty words. It's generally not always the most fun. Uh, and this was one of those times. <laughs> So my daughter Emmy's fourth birthday was coming up and we knew what we wanted to get her, but I also knew it was gonna involve quite a bit of work on my end. So for us, one big thing in making sure that everything was gonna work out well with the playhouse was uh, the ground or the site preparation, you could call it. So as you can see here, we weren't working with much. Uh, the ground out there is a lot of clay. It doesn't drain really well. So when it rains, it gets even more humid and then the water just kind of sits on the ground. Now we've done some things to help alleviate that problem, but we knew that it was going to be an issue. So we wanted to have a way to sort of elevate the playhouse, but also allow for the soil or the ground underneath, whatever that might be, to drain really well. So first, you might be wondering, what kind of playhouse did we use? What kind of materials did we need? We went with the Backyard Discovery Series, the Sweetwater Edition All Cedar Playhouse. We ordered it on Amazon. It was here a few days later. This video is not specific to this playhouse as there are so many different playhouses and so many different models that I didn't feel like it would be super helpful to tell you how to put it together. And there's already written and digital instructions that tell you how to do that, probably better than I can anyway. In terms of paint, we went the spray paint route. And I knew we'd be totally fine with going like just a couple cans, three cans, and I figured three would, three would probably Three would probably be enough. So I went back and got, I think I got like four or five cans. So I went back and got, I think the sixth, seventh, and eighth can. Then I got the ninth can. So we're at nine cans of white spray paint. The roof color was a matte gray. We went in three cans of that. I probably could have done two, but I wanted to make sure that the roof was really well covered and just had a little more resistance to the overall weather that it was going to be exposed to. So three cans of matte gray. And then finally for just a nice little touch, we went with pink ballet slipper for the door. Nothing says girl dad in my book quite like pink ballet slipper. Unless your little girl is not into pink ballet slipper and that's okay too. But Emmy is all about some pink ballet slipper. So we went with that color, painted the door that color. That was pretty quick. It was only one can, and honestly, it didn't even use the whole can. I will say while you're painting, if you're like me and you're a very tall individual, just be prepared. Um, maybe some calisthenics or stretching beforehand uh, to really loosen up any and all joints because you will have to contort yourself and squeeze inside a house that's made for a four-year-old. The next thing, and more in particular what we spent money on for the playhouse was the ground prep or the site prep, whatever you want to call it. I went back and forth whether I do rock or I just do more dirt or some way to sort of elevate it. I do like stone, like pavers. Uh, and the best thing I could come up with that was fairly inexpensive was just uh, like a cedar mulch. So we did 12 bags of cedar mulch. And then around the bed itself, we used a border, uh, the mulch and the actual metal border that we got, we got at Lowe's. So any local home improvement store, I'm sure would have these exact things or something very similar. Um, I've used this metal edging in the past and been really happy with it. Um, it comes with this, the stakes you need to drive it in or actually attached to the border. You kind of snap it off with some pliers and then drive it in front of the border and it helps kind of hold everything together. I just like the metal, it's a little more solid, lasts a little longer, but it's flexible enough that you can do a lot of different curved pieces. You can have small changes in elevation and just kind of drive it into the ground and it won't bend or break on you. And then I just used a rubber mallet to kind of tap everything in place and level it out and make the bed nice and pretty. Then on top of that, this was partly for another way to just sort of increase if it got wet to like drain, but also I just like the look of it. We did this fake grass 
that's available on Amazon. It's very popular. And again, I'll link that in the description. Um, it really just snaps together. The one warning I will say about the grass is it's a little bit difficult to put together. Uh, if you flip it over, I thought initially I could flip it over upside down and assemble it from the backside and see all the little teeth that interlock together and use that to assemble and make sure they're all locked in. But then when I went to flip it over, Yeah, so I then had to flip it right side up and then try to get everything to lock together. But the grass itself, the little fake grass blades kind of bend over and block your view and you can't really see the teeth. You have to sort of pull everything back and try to lock it together. And that can be kind of challenging. And once you get it snapped together, they do sort of stay together, but they're plastic. So they do kind of pop out. Um, but once you get all the pieces in, you can kind of walk over each of the seams and it does generally stay together. And the look is really nice. I probably would have been better to order a couple more pieces. That might be something I do down the road, just to buy a few more tiles and kind of pop them in there. They also come in quantities of six or nine, which I thought was kind of weird, but that's how they sell it. So just kind of prepare with that in mind. But in terms of total materials and everything we got, that was pretty much it. All in all, our total was about $540. Everything was put together, everything was clean. It was time for the big reveal. Surprise! <laughs> what do you think? It looks good. It looks good. <laughs> you want to go see it? Yeah. yeah. Go on, girl. You can go inside. I want to go inside. Okay, have fun, sweetheart. <laughs> I gotta turn the knob over. 